Hello, everybody, and welcome back to all the cool kids out there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope my light is not too bright. Um, as you guys know, I do go live Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time doing all sorts of little jump journal projects and giving you guys some of my tips and tricks for junk journaling. So if that is the kind of thing you are into, please do hit that subscribe button and that like button for me. Let me know that you care. Hi, Patricia. Welcome, girlfriend. Welcome. So tonight, like the title says, <laughs> I am on a never-ending scrap quilt quest. I have a bunch of fabric, and I decided to cut it all up, and I have been making this kind of... It has been nonstop, but it also has been kind of stop and go at the same time. Um, because, it, uh, because I'm doing so much of it, it kind of has to go in steps. <laughs> I have to go in steps, so you guys already know. Hi, Elisa. So what I have in front of me, and I still have a bunch of other work to do, but in front of me is I have a bunch of um, almost like strips of this fabric that I sewed together. So there's four uh, strips of uh, fabric here, as you can see. Um, that is what these are. See, these are all groups of four. And then here, what I did originally was I cut them up really little and I did all these little pieces and this took me forever and it's one little square <laughs> and it took a lot of work. But so what I have discovered, of course, is that if I do bigger panels, <laughs> they'll go a lot faster. So now what I'm doing, and I'm trying to get it to be the same size as this cutting mat, you can see it underneath. So now I'm doing them in strips, bigger pieces of fabric and strips so if you guys can see the size of this i still have to fix it by like cutting it even um but i was kind of taking it in steps where i would uh cut iron and then cut again and then sew together but now i've kind of just like started sewing all these strips together and then i'll iron at the end so that makes it a lot faster um, so this is about one, two, three, four, five, six strips, and it covers this whole board, which is exactly the size that I want it to be. Hi, Sheila. Thank you. So these are a lot faster to make. So I decided that this is just what I'm going to make a bunch of strips, and then I can put the strips together in rows and make it grow a lot faster than I ever could if they were all teeny tiny little pieces like this. Now, the original tutorial that I followed she used all of her scrap fabric but i am actually cutting up my own fabric to be the size so why not make it a little bit easier on myself and make them bigger pieces of fabric hi sheila oh, i already said hi <laughs> uh, so i can make them bigger pieces. can you turn it down a little bit babe so they could be uh, a lot bigger faster so that is what we're doing today i have all these strips here around me um, here's one that I've already started piecing together with strips. And so what I kind of do is I go around with my strips and I kind of set them by size. So I kind of, you know, I compare my little strips over here. And if they're not the right size, then I will, you know, move it off to the side and put it with the smaller ones. And when I find one that's the right size, then I'll sew it together. But this is kind of a good way to sort pieces. My, I did have to do that because I didn't do it before. And I can also compare this size to other strips and find strips that are about the same size. That way it's a lot less work with cutting and everything. Sometimes they're not exactly the same size that they should be, but then I can cut it a little bit. Like right here, this strip right here, these two strips are not exactly the same size, but I could just easily cut them to be. So let me just do that really quick. Quickly, which I haven't been doing this, but I guess here I go now. Hang on, let me get my plate. I have my little Cricut, Cricut not a Cricut, <laughs> uh, Sizzix little plate here that I've been using as kind of a guide to cut up against. So that kind of evens them out already. So then I can put these together. And I did put all the seams going the same way because that actually really helps. So 
are going to put these so that way that the seams kind of roll the same way and it makes it a lot easier to sew. I have come to find that um, it's a lot easier to sew these rows if all of the seams are facing the right way, the same way. So that's news to me. So I'm going to be just be using a straight stitch, just really simple, nothing fancy. And I'm going to be using my um, brother Project Runway sewing machine. Um, and it is the CE1125PRW model, if any of y'all are interested specifically. But here we go. Hi, Crafty Irina. How is you, lady? I am over here trying to get these uh, quilts made for no reason other than I just feel like I have to. <laughs> I just feel compelled to make these, so hey, why not? Let's just do it. You know I have too much fabric, so I need to make something with all this fabric that I have. Thank you very much, Irina. I have been watching so many quilting videos. I kind of want to try out some techniques. Um, and I'm kind of excited about that. I've never wanted to try quilting in my life until I was like, oh, that actually looks really cool. <laughs> so here's this part right here that we can add to other pieces or we can keep going. This doesn't exactly fit with that. It's a little bit too big. So let's keep on the search. These are still too big. And these are even bigger. Let me see if they match with that. Nope, this is short, so I'm going to put it over here to the side. Uh, I normally have these sorted already when I go live, or when I when I start to uh, sew, but here we are. I was down to the last minute. Um... I want to put this together because it wouldn't cut off too much more of what I'm already doing. So I'll put that together. I'm not trying to be too picky over here because that makes everything take much longer. Right? Too much fabric? Never. I know, I know, I know. It just means I have, you know, I want to do more stuff and I want to, I could even try quilting with that fabric. So it's a good test. Good test, I think it'll be. Unless quilts are made out of cotton and this is polyester, and I don't know if that's a problem. <laughs> I just thought about that. That might be a problem. Oh my goodness, Irina, how awesome. I will take whatever leftovers you got, girl. <laughs> okay, here's another piece, and here we go, as you can see. We're building outwards, and it takes a couple of strips just to keep it going. Just a couple of strips. Let's see if we're going to make that that size. And we could put this one there, and that's good. Let's just do that. I'm not even going to try and fight it. I think it looks good. Let's do that. So let me get back to my sewing machine, sisters. And I still have a bunch of fabric that I actually have to iron open, and then I have to cut it. It just, it's a whole process, but it is fun. <laughs> Why I decided to make this much, I decided to make a lot of this fabric. So, I don't know. I just feel like it. Just make sure these lined up right here pretty good. And I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance. <laughs> Our quarter inch seam. It's going pretty good so far. I am loving this. Hi, Robin. Scrap, scrap, scrap. See, that looks good. So it just needs like one more. And then we are good to go with this one. This one will be ready. It's a little bit too long. Mm, too long. Save that for something else. This would work. And then this would complete the whole size that I want it to be. Yay! 
Yay! So awesome. Okay. Bring back my little sewing machine. Position these seams to be where they need to be. Okay, here we go. Okay, so these are going to go together. Okay, and I apologize about not being here earlier, my normal time. <laughs> I had to take my grandmother to do some errands. You know how that goes. I think I ran out of bobbin. Yeah, that's why it sounds like that. That's funny. Okay. Okay, okay. Where are my scissors? Where are my... Oh, man. I don't know where my scissors are. These are like my emergency last, last resort scissors right here. They always save the day when I lose my other scissors. Let it go. We are finally free. Okay, so get another bobbin. I've been, I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Somewhat, somewhat. Okay. Let's go right here. Okay. I kind of snagged it a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. We are going to work with it. Here we go. <laughs> are gonna make it work my string is almost hang on what is going on over here something happened over here too let me re-thread it oh my goodness oh my goodness Oh, I had it in there. What happened? <laughs> you guys, the suspense. Uh, I am going to make them for journal covers. Not a, I'm not. I'm not here to actually make a quilt, like an actual like functioning quilt. I'm not there yet. Oh my god! <laughs> I just pulled it out with my finger. You guys, of course. Um, no, it's just going to be for journal covers. <clears throat> I'll have a nice stash for myself and I will put some up for sale as well because I'm just making so many just because I want to and I have all this material but <clears throat> so I'm going to definitely need to sell some there we go. but even if I don't I seriously just feel like the need to like do this right now <laughs> like this weird calling <laughs> okay so ironed out that'll be the size it's gonna be approximately 17 by 11 or almost 18 by 12 honestly almost 18 by 12 that is the size of the the piece and this is uh, perfect for one journal or you could use it in half and um, do two journal covers if you small covered if you wanted to. But that's why it is this size right here. Right? Wouldn't it make a pretty quilt? I already told my husband, like, I kind of want to cover my whole couch with this. <laughs> like, I think that's what I want to do with my life. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that is one done for tonight. So that's good. I already have some that are kind of done that I could just keep adding to if I find the right size strip. Let's see if this is too short for that, but okay. I have some longer ones. And these are all, of course, scraps. So they're all made from, these are made from bed sheets. That's what these are made out of. And I think I'm going to add that to this. I'm just going to do a little bit of cutting. I normally don't do this at the same time, but why not? Let's just do it now. Okay. 
me. So that'll be that size. So now I can add that to this piece right here. Like I said, I was starting to do little pieces and that was fun, but this is a lot quicker. Like <laughs> the size of like 20 of these blocks is four. So <laughs> that's definitely a lot better for me in terms of quickness. <clears throat> so I just kind of uh, made them bigger pieces. Like I said, bigger pieces of fabric. Yes, bed sheets. They are made from bed sheets. There's a couple pieces of, you know, regular fabric here and there, but 99% of it is bed sheets. Apparently, you get a better deal on fabric per, by the dollar, or <laughs> you get a better uh, bang for your buck when you buy uh, bed sheets for fabric. So here's this. Let me just add it to this piece. Right to there. And I have to um, fix the, I have to iron it out, but I don't really have to until kind of like the very end. Yes, Goodwill has really good bed sheets, actually. They have really pretty ones. I like, I like Goodwill's selection of bed sheets when it's on sale, anyways. Sometimes it's a little too expensive, but that's okay. This is almost the right size, but not really. I don't feel like trimming the whole thing. Let's see, that's when I made them all sorts of sizes, so there is bound to be another long one in here. Not yet. <laughs> not yet, but there is. Let's see, is this, this one's a really long one. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Here's one. Mm, it's just a little bit too short, but you know what? It's the same size as this. No, it's not. It's too small. <laughs> okay, it's too small. Let's get real. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> That's also too short. Okay, so we'll move on. Get that went away from me. <clears throat> and we can move on to other ones. Short too. This is not very sharp. It's also not very long. Just gotta find a piece that'll work with this. So I make all the you know the two pieces first. I'll leave a uh just uh I will leave a link <laughs> down at the bottom to where you can find um the original tutorial that I follow to make these because by no means did I come up with this at all. <laughs> But it was a fun tutorial to follow, and it was not hard. If I can do it, I mean, you definitely can do it. <clears throat> That's my motto. <laughs> That's the motto of my channel. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Any of these? Any of them? Nope. Just going to be like that. Okay. <laughs> just going to be like that today, I guess. Too long. I could... These are definitely going to be too long for it, but still hold up faith <laughs> that I'll find the perfect piece. It's really not looking like it right now. That happens. <clears throat> so then I cheat and I cut it shorter <laughs> on the on the fabric that I cut it. I like least. So this fabric, I like the least. <laughs> so I'll cut it shorter over there. Whatever, this is not a very stressful project. Try not to make it a stressful project anyways. <laughs> Hi, Keisha. What happened? What happened? What does that have to do with? What's, what's you talk about? <laughs> what reminded you of me, huh? Huh, huh, huh? Okay, so on some of them, on my, my older pieces, I didn't make the seams all go the same way. I don't know why I didn't figure that out. But like I said, I've been watching a lot of quilting videos. <laughs> and 
I see the advantages. Let's see. I saw Betsy Johnson cameo necklace. Ooh. I love Betsy Johnson. That's my girl. Okay. Hi, Ray. My sewing brother, 625. I have two. New one, hubby got for me. Does lots. Ooh. Okay, so that works perfectly here. Again, I'm trying to make it the size of this board. So I know how much I have to do next, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that would be kind of cute here. And I could just cut it off a little bit. I won't cry about it. Maybe I will. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Okay, so let's cut it to size. So I'd rather have it cut off this over here. It doesn't have to be because I am going to cut it exactly later on in the next step <laughs> after I iron it. And again, I don't have to actually wait. To, I, I've been like doing it in different, too many steps. I don't actually have to wait to iron this to include this piece over here. Glad I know that now. Let's get, again, I'm trying to get the seams to kind of go the same way. Because that would help me when sewing. Okay, so we'll do it this way. And let me get back on here. Okay, so this. I'm going to move it to put it position. Straight stitch with a quarter inch uh, sewing at the quarter inch mark. Yeah, these are going to be for covers. And I'm also going to have some for sale because I'm making so much of it. Like I said, I don't know why. Nobody's like saying, hey, make some for me. But I just feel like making them. <laughs> just feel like I can't stop. Feel like I can't stop this feeling. That I just want to. Okay, that's a kind of the same size. A kind of the same pattern, but going this way. I'll cut it. I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> I'm not in the mood to look through everything right now. So I'm just going to cut it. Oops. I am not doing this my normal way of cutting. <laughs> okay. Put that away before I continue, before I cut myself. Okay, so bring this forward. Have you tried Scrap Vortex Quilt from Crazy Mom? <gasps> what? No. What is that? <laughs> that sounds interesting. It's going. Try to keep it all together. Hi, Pink Rose. Yeah, that sounds like a whole other realm. <laughs> okay, so we're going on this quilt here. We're, we're going to build it up a little bit more. A couple more strips and we'll be there. A couple more strips. Let's see. Is this one tall enough? Why does it feel like this one should be tall enough? And I always go by my shortest point, my shortest uh, piece of fabric on whether the next piece can go on it or not. Even though it's not exactly the same size like right here, you could tell it's a little bit shorter down here. But that's okay because I'm going to cut it down 
to this fabric right here and that kind of aligns anyways and so that's why i'm doing it <laughs> and so that's why let's see scrap vortex is a very clever and quick way to use up scraps and orphan blocks up just google vortex scrap okay all right so it does sound very in sounds time consuming which you know hey hey i got all the time to quilt I'm new at this, so I'm down to try new new techniques with this fabric. I'll try it. Oops, I messed up. Messed up. Okay. Here we go. I forgot I have to start it off slow. Sometimes I start it off a little bit too fast and it gets snagged for some reason. I don't know why. But it do, it do get snagged sometimes. I promise tomorrow I'll do something else uh, that's not quilts related. <laughs> Sometimes that's all I want to do, you guys. Like I said, I made myself a lot of work. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Nobody requested it. That's okay. <laughs> I have not gotten it serious. I have not had this sewing machine for a year. So I have not gotten it serviced, but I have opened it up and cleaned it myself. Here's this needs one more, one more strip, one more, and there are thinner ones. I do have thinner ones. It's not gonna fit. It's too short. What about this one? This one might make it too long, but but no, that's too long. <laughs> Makes it too wide there. Just if I have any skinny ones, because I know I do. They are just like over here in another pile. Yeah, see, this is a skinnier strip, and that ought to do it. I just gotta cut this one way, <laughs> way shorter. But you know what? I'll deal. I'll deal. It's fine. I'll live. And this is not how I normally cut this. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I am. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> okay, I'm being real, real uh, ingenuous, right? Not. I don't think that's the right word. I'm trying to say I'm being smart, but I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I'm saying it right. <laughs> Like I said, I normally don't cut them short, but you know what? Y'all are watching, and I can't be that slow, and I didn't sort them before. <laughs> Whoa, that was really aggressive sewing machine. So aggressive. It had nothing to do with my foot at all. Okay. How do you do it, really? I need to know. Don't use as much. <laughs> you want to know how you open it? Is that what you mean? Okay, so this is good. So here's one block that I just finished. Yay, it's all perfectly to size. Like I said, this is a, the perfect size for a junk journal cover, or you can cut it in half and do two junk journal covers. But, oh my gosh, Keisha, you are blocked. <laughs> blocked for being inappropriate. Okay, so this one's done, yay. I still have time to do more. So like I said, Doing them in longer, doing them in bigger pieces, obviously, is just a lot faster. <laughs> so, there you go. That's my little tip. I have not had to service my machine yet, but, you know, you never know. You never know. Okay, so there's this piece. Did I already go over this piece already? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. 
two. This is the perfect size. Let's add it, and that'll make it. And then we'll just need to add one strip down here. Hey, you guys. I'm doing this a lot faster. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to need to cut it right there. You can see. Again, I don't have one of those fancy rulers. I just have this plate for my Sizzix. <laughs> and that's what we're working with here. I'm just going to kind of cut it to size here. Okay. And that's going to go on there. You need to know how to get the bobbin out and change it. Oh, uh, well, you can take the, see down here, there's like this screw right here, and there's a screw back here. You take those off. There's a little uh, thing that comes with your sewing machine. Look at it. There's this thing that comes with your sewing machine, and you unscrew them. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy, but you unscrew that, and then you take this off. There's a video. I didn't, like, learn how to make do this on my own. I had to watch a video, a lot of videos on how to do it. But you just look up your model on YouTube, and somebody's probably already done it. But then there's this also part, this plastic part right here comes off also. So you don't have to take this off. You can just take this part off and clean it. I've done that too. So there's that option. You are jealous of my vintage sheets. Girl, sometimes... <coughs> sometimes I just get really lucky. And sometimes I get nothing. <laughs> it happens. It happens. And then I find myself, like, looking through uh, my grandmother's pictures of, like, all her stuff. And I'm like, oh, that bed sheet in the background is so pretty. <laughs> I'm like, I want that bed sheet. But, you know, it's probably not around anymore. <laughs> yeah, and you can find the be uh, vintage bed sheets online. But they're so expensive that you might as well just buy fabric then. Oh, I don't know if I did that one right. That seam was not all going the right way. Let's see how this one's going. Oh, you mean this, you mean the, the thing that the bobbin sits in, right? That's what you mean? Yeah. Basically, what you do when you open it, you have to look. And I took a picture. I literally took a picture. I opened this. I took a picture of what it looked like. Perfectly sit in there the way the manufacturer did it. And then I went in there and I fixed it. And then I tried to look at my photo and put the little bobbin thing right back where it was when I took the picture. <laughs> That's what they said to do in the video. There's this little arrow, and it has to be right here. Yep, I definitely took a picture, because I don't know what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> okay, so perfect. So now this um, is now the right width, uh, approximately the right width. Get this up a little bit higher. I don't blow mine out with air. I get a little brush, and I pick in there, because I heard I'm not supposed to put air. I don't know. That's just what I heard. Something about moisture. I don't know. <laughs> That's just what I heard. And I heard I'm um, not supposed to lubricate my stuff yet. I heard. <laughs> I heard mine is supposed to be. I'm laughing because I don't even. I don't know if I'm right. But that's just what I heard. <laughs> that I have to. Um, I don't have to uh, lubricate it myself. It's supposed to be self-lubricating. I don't know. I've only had it a year. So I have not had to have it ser serviced or anything yet. I think I'm going to put these two together. And then put these two together. And we do have to cut because, I, like I said, I'm taking shortcuts tonight and I really don't. But you definitely want to, cons if you can, consult your manual on whether you should blow air into it or not. 
I definitely would. Oh my gosh, Kisa. Kisha, did you get hacked? <laughs> Yeah, well, like I said, look it up. Maybe your machine's okay with it. I don't know. I heard from my specific model, I'm not supposed to. Not, I'm, I'm, I'll admit, though, I have not read the manual. <laughs> I'm terrible. You know, do as I say, not as I do or don't. <laughs> I'm terrible. I know. I hate reading the manual. <laughs> I hear you, girl, about England. Okay. Like I said, there has been times where I didn't find anything myself. Let's see, and some of it was donated to me. It was gifted to me, so I didn't have to look for it. This would look beautiful right here, actually. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be over there on that side. I did put a lot of these, like, yellowish squares, but I really like that machine. Most modern machines are plastic, are not oil. That makes sense. That would make sense. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Right, I should. It's just they don't sell it on uh, Amazon, so I can't exactly, you know, link it. But I was thinking I should come become an affiliate with Walmart because they do. <laughs> so I, I'm probably gonna become a Walmart affiliate so I can put that link because I use this machine every day, you guys. Like I literally probably come on without it. Like I don't know. I can't even. I could probably count on one hand the times that i've come out here with no sewing machine <laughs> sorry i'm choking <coughs> okay okay so i was thinking that'd probably be a good idea for me <laughs> <coughs> So I'm going to cut this part off because I don't know, whatever. There's probably no other strips that are this long anyway, so let's do it. Because then we got the perfect width here, and then I could add a strip here later, and we're all done with this one. Yay! Yeah, yeah, this is awesome. Bye, Lucy. Thanks for stopping by, though. I love this little machine. It's good. I, I've told everybody it's great. Get the warranty. It's great, though. <laughs> but get the warranty. Like, breaking a $130 machine is a lot uh, easier on my mind than breaking a $400 machine. So, hey. <laughs> There we go. Hi, Benjamin. Here we go. 
And that will make it approximately the size. I might even add the smallest, thinnest little bit. We'll see. I don't know. I don't have those bits out right now. But there's this piece that we're going to leave because I have to iron it before we can add another piece over here. That's a whole other story. I have some that are work in progress, some that are done. That's just how it is. <laughs> this one, I can even this out now. Kind of cut off a step. Right there. Perfect. Now we need to add another row to this. Another row would be good. I don't know if I have anything that wide. Oh my goodness. Here starts, here starts the game. So, okay, this one would actually be a perfect size. I'd have to change it. I mean, cut it a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, let's get this one done. This this kind of project will definitely make you feel like you've achieved a lot. <laughs> it's great. It's great, great. Okay. And I was thinking I'd probably even um, scan these to make them into printables because that would be so cute also. So we'll see about that when that's coming. So you can just print it out and you, I can use them in my journals. That would be so cute. <clears throat> I think I'll do that. So Daisy, do you have specific times you come on? Yes, I come on at 1 p.m. That's 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And, um, but today <laughs> I had stuff to do with my grandma, so I was here a little late, <laughs> just a couple hours later than 1 p.m. <laughs> okay, let's see what else I have. I have this piece here that I guess has all the little pieces, which I guess I have here, actually. Yes, yeah, so I hope to see you around, Kisha girl. So this should be over here. I know I don't go on at night no more. I don't want to put this fabric to next to that fabric, though. I don't want to. Okay, we'll put it over here then. Okay. I try not to put two fabrics of the same kind next to each other. Sometimes it happens, though. But I really, really try not to. Really got to try. Let me get over here. Yes, I'm glad I caught you. You caught me then. Thank you. It's nice to see you. I know I hadn't seen you in a minute. Do you have a shop, Keisha? I don't know if you have a shop or you just sell on Facebook. this. Okay. So again, these are all not uh, pressed down these seams. They should be, but we'll do that in the next step. We'll keep kind of growing it. I didn't do that in the beginning, but now that's making it a lot faster. Hey, <laughs> amen to that. That's great. So let's do that over here. And I just keep adding row by row by row until it's the right size. Till we're doing it. Okay, there we go. Get this in place here. And over here. Over here and over here. Okay. So I can kind of hold it together. Okay. Let 
There we go. And it just keeps growing and growing. And then I'll need to put a strip down here. But it's okay. I got all sorts of sizes. That's why it's good to make all sorts of sizes with these strips. That'll work with this one. It's going to be cut off a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. It's just a bunch of straight stitch. So if you ever needed to practice your straight stitch, this is a good uh, this is a good uh, product to do so. <laughs> okay, okay. And we'll, we'll do something more junk journal related tomorrow. This isn't junk journal related to me. It's not quilting or anything to me. This is junk journal related because I will be using these in junk journals. But I'll do something more related to junk journals tomorrow. I need to start a new set of prayer journals. So that's probably what's next for me. But I want to have some of this fabric ready. So I'm going to use them in it. So here we are. Okay, so this is now the perfect size here. Like I said, down here, I will definitely have to add another strip. I need to make these even, and then we'll add another strip down here. So that is good right there for that piece. Put that one away. Like I said, I have other pieces that I kind of started, but I have not finished. Um, I think I used up all of the strips I had, that's why. But I have since gotten more, so that's good. It's way too short now. We are getting too short. Yep, we're getting too short. Okay, so let's see if these are any taller. Nope, they're not. This one is too tall. That one is too tall. Do, are these the same size? These are the same size, so we'll put these together. Good to know. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Here, didn't I put a uh, second chance? Thanks for hanging out, girl. I almost said goodnight, Patricia, but <laughs> she was saying goodnight to second chance. Okay, let's get these strips together here. Oh, I have two of the same color down here, but you know what? I think I'll live. Yeah, I'll live. <laughs> be a nice mix in the end. You'll see. You'll see. It's a nice mix. Mm -hmm. That's just what I have. I have a bunch of uh, quilt fabrics that are kind of in the right size, kind of not in the right size, in the middle of completion or whatever. So here's this one, almost the size I want it to be. It's got to grow. <laughs> then I have bigger sizes that I can connect with it. Like this is perfect. And then I'm just going to connect these and they just grow and grow and grow. Grow, grow, grow. That's all they do. Let's try and get these kind of match up with the seams. Most part, that's good. Let's make this one grow. Perfect project for me who has a short attention span. <laughs> so if that size don't work on there, there, there. Okay, next one. This will go here. There we go. See, and just like that, we already expanded it. All right. It's like magic. This actually could have gone there, too. Okay, whatever. Need one more strip. 
And trust me, I got more strips. <laughs> I have been doing this for a minute now. Oh, I have more strips. Just all weird sizes right now. Of course. Nope, nope, nope. This one? Let's see, is it the size of the small one? It's a little bit smaller. I don't want to cut off too much. So I don't think anything's going to work out with this one now. So we're going to move on. Goodbye. <laughs> Just like that. Goodbye. Okay, so this one. Nope. See, this happens too. I think kind of matches. Oh, these two do. Yay, these two match. So let's put those together. Like I said, normally I would have these kind of like um, divided kind of by size, but I didn't do that this time. Of course. I'm trying to be professional, but I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> okay. Let's get it. Let's do this. Let me get my little sewing foot. Where are you? Okay. Okay, I found it. Okay. Let's go. I pressed down a little too hard. It's okay. That way it gets done quicker. <laughs> So these two pieces, right? Aren't they pretty? I love it. These two pieces go right here. That's good. And this kind of fits. It's only a little bit smaller. Let's do it. It's only a little bit bigger, of course. Not smaller. Oh my god, Daisy. Oh my god, it's too late at night. Okay. <laughs> My excuse is always it's too late at night, or it's too early in the morning, or it's just four o'clock, you know. <laughs> Together. Oof, I was about to mess up that seam underneath. we got it okay okay so here's that piece right there that we just added and i could go ahead and even it out now which i'll do right here so i don't have to do it in the next step it's already done good so there we go just keep adding pieces that'll fit together with it. If possible, if not with each other. Let's see. Nope, too small. Nope. Too long. Here's another one that's kind of the right size. Let's see if it is. It is. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's do it. Let's put those down. Doesn't matter what way this goes. <clears throat> okay, let's get to our sewing machine here. We are almost done for tonight. I was only going live for like an hour today. I'm going to see how much I got done. And you know what? I'm getting a lot done. So happy. There's still a lot more. I don't know how many more of these exactly I'm going to make, but I cut up a lot of fabric. <laughs> I'm kind of invested at this point. And it's fun. I don't know why I find this so much fun. Okay, here we go. Down here. And you gotta cut it a little bit. But that's okay. Just 
Okay. And it just keeps growing and growing and growing like an accordion. And you guys, again, I don't see, and then I sewed that one backwards. Oh my gosh. I gotta fix that one later. Later, much later. All right. Let's see, is this the right size? Ooh, that's not the right size. It almost was. It almost was. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does for this project. I've never really had a cut fabric up like that, though. I've never had projects like this where it mattered if lines are straight. <laughs> so I kind of just went about my life, you know? <laughs> okay, that'll be the final size that it needs to be. Perfect. Let's do it. And we'll get done with this one. Are just finishing it up. I'm so happy. Any sort of progress on this is a lot of progress, trust me. Like I said, I made a lot of work for myself, but I kind of, I don't know why I want to keep doing this over and over. It's just fun. And I like seeing all the colors come together. Mm. It's, it's a whole lot of fun. Guys. Now this one's done it's ready to be um uh cut down and then um ironed gotta iron down all these seams make it nice and flat nice and flat okay okay so that goes there and here is this one, you guys, and that one's all done. So we did get a couple of them done. We got some kind of started getting there on the roll. But some of them did get finished. And some of them got started. Hey. <laughs> but this was fun, you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And for letting me obsess over all these quilts lately. I've just been wanting to do all these quilting. And I'm going to go ahead and scan them. And I'm going to put them in my shop. And I'm going to also put the actual fabric ones in my shop. And um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, Daisy Collins. No, it's not Daisy Collins. It's Tsunami Rose Designs. Because <laughs> I'm going to post these on there as well. I just love the look of them. All of them look different, but they all kind of look the same too because I use the same repetitive fabrics over and over again. So you guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow at my normally scheduled time at 10, at, 10, at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm a professional, you guys. I got this. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you to Benjamin. Thank you to Keisha. Thank you to Second Chance, of course. Thank you to Patricia, who else is here. Lucy and Irina and Pam. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight and Pink Rose, of course. Thank you guys. I hope you guys have a good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.